tell you a little story about that. We were asking for suggestions about what we the name of the university should be. And uh, uh, I was in favor of Central Appalachian University. So it gave us a less parochial, a more regional appeal. But a student said, why don't we call it the University of Pike? Like they tell the national champions, UConn and UMass, we'll just call it UPike. Man, that you pipe caught full fire like wildfire. And, and, I, and I lined up, I said, there goes my troops, and I'm their leader, and I got on their bandwagon. And so, you uh, pipe, you know, there's nobody involved in higher education in Kentucky that doesn't know what you pipe is, what you can, you pipe's done. I was eating lunch with, uh, uh, I can't remember any names. But uh, he was a long time professor uh, at Dickinson. He said, You know, we're beginning to feel like a real university. And we are a real university. With this atomic oncology school that we have here today, I believe there's only 19 in the United States. I believe if you look at the technology that they're using here, I believe we're the most advanced technological optometry school in the nation, probably the world. And he said, I want you to help me become the president of Piper College. Pretty audacious, I thought. I was a little shocked. It took me a minute or two to reply. And then I said, what well, really ought to happen is that I should become president of Bible College, and you should help me uh, do the job. So hesitation, he said, I'll do that. And so the conversation wasn't much longer than that. I didn't know much about college administration, but I knew it was different from business and different from government. So I started to deal with Tom Hess. Tom was the interim dean and a tenured profession. I would pay the bills and he would run the academic part of the college. This served very effectively in that capacity until he went back to the classroom in I think in about 2020.